Yeah! What up, y'all, and welcome back to another one. Good morning, and how y'all doing? Oh, today's video, today's video, your boy is leaving the guns at home. The gun, the guns, all of them, any of them, I'm leaving them at home. Last time I uh, worked Fred and I took the 20 gauge, I helped my buddy Gerald guide and I ran Fred and I barely shot. I loved it, Fred loved it, but you guys really, really loved it. My main point is I had a lot of comments from y'all saying, Bobby, the more time you put into Fred this season, the more you're gonna get out next season. If y'all don't recall, Fred is only barely over a year old. And you guys are exactly right. I need to put the gun down more often and just handle Fred. So yesterday I helped my buddy Gerald. He's a guide. I helped him get on a field. So he's got eight clients this morning. We're using my trailer, my decoys, and his decoys. Both of our dogs. Running our dogs. Gonna be a good morning. But today, no gun. All Frederick. It's gonna be nice. I'm gonna blow my call. Run my dog. I'll film on my GoPro like usual for y'all. We're gonna have a good old day, I'm telling you. I really appreciate you guys uh, recommending this style of hunting with Fred and I, uh, for the sake of Fred. I, I really, really, truly enjoy how much you guys enjoy Fred. And I really want to get my point across on that. The care for Fred from y'all is so high. I never would have believed that a dog could be loved by so many people. But honestly, guys, you guys are awesome. Your help with Fred is always appreciated. But before we get into today's hunt, today's video is sponsored by duckswaterfowl.com. Oh yeah, if you wanna pick up the cup ducks hat, the white hoodies, the thermal sweats, any and all the above, I will link it all down in the description below. Go check it out. Whenever you guys purchase something from Ducks Waterfowl, it goes directly to supporting your boy and helping me bring you guys more of these videos. We all know how YouTube, they like to demonetize a lot of the hunting. Uh, it hasn't been bad for the last month. It hasn't been very bad, but if I put the word shot, shooting, gun, shotgun, in any title or anything, the problem just starts back over. So I really appreciate your guys' support. Make sure you subscribe. Make sure you hit that little notification bell down there, especially if you like this video. You gotta let me know, guys. And one more thing. This is a big thing. I need y'all's help. If I were to start guiding next year, I mean, if I had my own outfit, my own lodge, my own guide service for y'all, how many of y'all would book a hunt? If you would book a hunt with me, I need you to drop a comment down below and let me know. I'm gonna tally up those comments and I'm really gonna take them to heart because I'm thinking about doing it, y'all. There have been a ton of you that want to come hunt with me. And there's really no other way to do it unless I started a guide service. So, drop a comment down below, let me know if you would or if you wouldn't. And if you wouldn't, tell me why you wouldn't. Well, 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 we are out here and we sat a giant. I mean, it's real, real big. And I mean real big. <laughs> so big, in fact, I don't know how many decoys me and Gerald put out. He put out basically all of his and I put out uh, about half of mine and that's a lot. I'd say it's probably over 120 dozen-ish, about. But eight shooters, two guys calling. Let's see how this bad boy goes, right? Oh, and here in a little bit, I'll walk around, I'll show you the spread. Uh, let's say hi to Frederick. Oh, Freddy, are you in there? Oh, hi, Frederick. What are you doing up there, man? What's up? Oh, Fred, he's ripping and ready to go today. Looks like you've been sleeping up there. You got sleep in your eye, bud? shot on the end. Fred, look at them both. They just go ripping out of here. 
Nice shooting on the last bird there. That was a high one. He went bang. Nice job. Good Fred here. Come on, buddy. Look at him work through them decoys. That a boy. My bird. Dead bird. Dead bird. Here. Well, there we go. First volley. What was it? Five birds? Five, Five birds. Not bad. <laughs> between them boys every single time he goes Grah! like a freight train dude Fred dead bird he always puts the first one down Fred always puts the first one down and sees another one and goes and gets it we got to do pile work I know I've been saying that right here heel dead bird good boy let's go buddy come on good good boy my bird dead bird dead bird there we go Lester's today baby good hunt Good boy. Good. My bird. Set. Set. Good dog, Frederick. That's a good boy. Well, if you guys are liking, liking old Fred working today, you know what to do. Smash your thumbs up for Frederick. That's a good dog. Another right, one. Stand up and shuffle your pants again. <laughs> we got one of the decoys. Get him! Get him! Oh, he's getting really close. If you hit it from that close, there ain't gonna be nothing left of it. Oh my god. Oh dear god. Wow. Oh god. Oh god. Oh, there's two of them. Oh god. Nice. Good boy. That's a good sitting baby. Sit. One thing I really like about this dog vest, it's got a big old handle here where I can just hold him and he can't move. He's doing great. This is really good for Fred. This is what I'm really enjoying not shooting and just handling Fred. If you guys like these videos, you got to let me know down below. Say, Bobby, we enjoy them still. Um, keep doing them because if you guys like them, I'll keep doing this, you know. And if you guys are liking the view from being behind everybody, let me know that as well. Cause I'm having fun running old Frederick. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> They got into him pretty good there. I didn't have the camera on. Let's go, Fred. Here. Pick a bird and let's go. Let's go. Let's go. My bird. My bird. My bird. Nope. Nope. Set. Set. Nope. Right here. Is there more? Dead bird. Dead bird. Dead bird. Fred. Dead bird. Fred. Dead bird. Here. Let's go. Good dog. Heel. Set. Mine. Set. Was calling my lungs out. I got tired. I didn't think the birds were going to do it. All of a sudden, they sweeped in on the left side. I didn't even have the camera on. I am sorry. They got into him pretty good again yet. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm.
my goodness, they're getting hard. Oh, right in front, Gerald. They're getting to the point now. They get to the edge of this bread and they start slowly, slowly lifting up. One of the issues is, is that we have a big old giant live feed behind us about right at a mile. So when you're battling live birds on the ground behind you, it don't help. There's one on the ground. Look at Fred, he sees him. Snows on the ground. Oh, big snows too. Them are some big dogs. That's bigger than the last snow you carried, isn't it? Here, buddy. Here. Come on. My bird. Dead bird. Dead bird. Dead bird. Fred. Dead bird. Lay down. Lay down. Lay down. Lay down. Good boys. I have some sticks. No, uh -oh. look what time it is. Uh oh. Ooh. Treat time, Freddy. He's been a good boy. Yeah. Yep. You have, buddy. Look at Archer. He's going, dude. Hook it up, Archer. Archer. Here you go, buddy. Oh, Freddy. You want more? Oh. Dog is gnarly. Fred, no, sit. Nope, sit. Another single snow doing it dirty. Wow, that's awesome. Oh, look at this group out front. Yep. Archer, come on.
got down quick in that wind. Yeah. It went I really only God damn. He tore through. Right here. Right here. Sit. Sit. Good boy. My bird. Sit. There we go. Another lesser. They gave it up pretty darn good there. Well, we are pulling out of the field here. Oh, and one thing about it, the sun, it is, uh, it's 11 o'clock. The sun's been out long enough now to where it's kind of broke that top little frozen ice layer down. It's not muddy, but it's soft. It's not even really sticking to the tires, but it's just really soft, you know what I mean? Be sure, guys, please be sure. If, if you ever want to make a farmer mad, be sure. Just ask the farmer if you can drive it in, especially if it's planted wheat or anything, or if it's just mildly wet at all. Be sure you always ask the farmer if you can pull into the fields. It's something that, uh, if you ask, they appreciate you asking. Put it that way. But awesome little hunt. Uh, we ended it with right at 40 birds. Not bad at all for the guys. We had some awesome commitment. There was actually two rounds that I didn't even uh, film. I didn't even have the camera on my head. I was busy running Fred, calling. I can tell you one thing. Fred had an absolute ball today. He enjoyed me handling him. You could tell that he was way happier. I wasn't mad at him all the time because of him breaking, you know what I mean? So Fred's happy, I'm happy. I really appreciate, uh, there was one of you in general, I think it was last week, and, and I didn't write down your name, I should have, but I really appreciate you, whoever you are, you even have, I think there's a picture of a dog for your avatar, or whatever, you, your little profile picture. Whoever you are, thank you so much, because you must be a dog trainer, is what I'm thinking, because you said, word for word, Bobby, the time you put into Fred this season is going to make him a better dog for next season. You know what I mean? So the work put in this season, next season, it's going to come back around. I appreciate that. I had so much fun today. I didn't have a gun on my hip. I didn't pull a trigger. I blew my call and I worked Fred. That was fun. Oh, well, back at home here. Just got done eating lunch and holy smokes. I am stuffed and ready for a nap. Hey there, buddy. What are you doing, you working dog? What you doing here? You spill all your food, Freddy. Come on, man. Oh, but a little recap of today. Y'all know I like coming home and talking about the hunt. Uh, good hunt, good hunt. The wind progressively picked up throughout the morning and uh, we knew that that was gonna be money. Now, the one bad thing, man, all the clients, they could have done a lot better shooting, but they were staring directly into the sun. The last volley, uh, we landed probably five or six birds, but then there was another, probably 30 or 40, you know, at 20 yards, and they dropped two. Now, I have to, I have to say that when I was watching them, I was doing this. I mean, a northwest wind always makes you look into the sun, you know what I mean? Northwest wind to your back. Birds are gonna be doing it. You're gonna be looking into the sun. So, is what it is. A uh, really good shoot though. But all in all, I really enjoyed working old Frederick. That's right, this guy right here. We need to go get your collar back on you. I enjoyed just working him, not pulling a trigger, not manning a gun, nothing but just calling and working my dog. It was so awesome. I really wanna know how you guys feel about this. Um, a lot of you are here because of the GoPro on my head, uh, the first person shooter type of view, you know what I mean? But a lot of you also really enjoy Fred, just like I do. So just let me know if you guys want these type of videos every now and then. It's, it's just not going to go to all these, but if you'd like a video every now and then, just like this one, maybe one a week or something, I'd love to just go on a little guided hunt like that, guide some people, run my dog, you gotta let me know down in the comment section below, basically. Guys, be sure you hit that notification bell down there. It will notify you when I upload. And please, 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 please hit the subscribe button. I'm trying to incorporate different content, just like today. If you guys have an idea for a video, 
drop a comment down below let me know please and again if you guys want to pick up something from ducks waterfowl i will link our hoodies the hats everything down in the description below but thank y'all for being here i appreciate you guys so much but until next time